black women haven't always been kind to me and I would say to each other. Um, if you're anything like me, you've had events or experiences with black women that weren't always positive. And if you're anything like me, it can make you nervous or protective or defensive or, or distrustful of black women who didn't even do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They ain't even in the conversation, but yet they, they, but they, they feel the heat from the wound, right? And so I have been hurt by black women, um, my mother specifically, but even in business, betrayal, lies, all the things that human beings do. So this is not a slam to black women at all. Please don't hear that. That's not even what happened. But, but the thing that happens is when you get that kind of hurt, betrayal, blah, 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 it doesn't leave. It stays and it goes into the next relationship, the next business opportunity, the next um, sister girlfriend that you could really, really, really have a, 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 an intimate, emotionally nurturing, powerful sisterhood. Okay. Hey, Dominique. And so I want to share with you something that just happened. Please share, please, please share this video now, especially if you love black women, please share, 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 share. And for my brothers, please share with your women so they'll notice, all right? It's important information. I um, have been feeling like a failure. I had created an event called Healing Black Love, Manifest Millions Together, and nobody bought it. No one bought it. And I was like, how the hell is this possible? We get all this engagement, but no one will, will buy it. Okay, and I tried six ways to Sunday to figure out what did I do wrong, blah, 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 blah. And so, um, thank you, Rose, for this. Thank you for the um, stars, Rose. That's very sweet of you. And I, I got discouraged. I was like, God, maybe I'm not the right person to do this. Maybe I'm too flawed. Maybe I'm too, um, maybe I'm too street. Maybe I'm not enough. I don't know. Like, I thought is what you wanted me to do. And um, it didn't work. And so I got I got disheartened and I just stopped. And um, and so I have a <laughs> I have a sister girlfriend. Her name is April. OK, she's Epic April on Instagram. And she and she and I will do video chats on Instagram. And we were talking and I was sharing with her my my my, my disappointment and frustration with I don't know how to I can't. I can't see how to do this. And so she said, well, let's get together. Let's mastermind this powwow, okay? And so she got Allison Bird herself and Danielle, who's a Dr. Danielle, all together on the phone with me, three powerhouses, okay? These are black women you need to know, walk with, follow, do everything, right? And they poured into me for over two hours, they helped me shift core beliefs. They reminded me of who I am. And, 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 some, and, and something got healed in terms of trusting and feeling safe with black women as my sisters. Do you understand? So I just want to make sure I articulate that there's a healing power in being loved by a black woman. And if you are a black woman, who has ever been hurt by a black by black women? Here's my prayer for you: that you are loved by a healed black woman, such that you can heal from the past of being hurt by black women. Each one of these women have done the healing work, such that they could pour into me when I needed it the most, and I couldn't have done it without them. And so, I don't want us to forget that the healing work that I'm talking about. It, it includes us with each other as women. You see what I'm saying? It's not just for our men. It's for us. Right? And it takes, I don't know, it just takes a level of vulnerability and trust and wisdom to allow yourself to be loved and poured into. At least it does for me. That in a way that gives me hope again and gives me confidence and assuredness that what I say matters 
that I can do this. And it doesn't matter what it looks like, but I can do this. And I couldn't have done that without my sisters. So for all the black women who love me, thank you for loving me and standing for me all this time. And for Allison, April, and Darnell, uh, thank you for making time and pouring into me. I know you don't need any thanks. But I just want you to know that I appreciate you. So that's it. That's all I got for today. If you're a fan of this word, please pay it forward. I'm committed that we heal as a people, including our relationships to each other, especially our sisterhood. That matters too. I don't want you to ever feel like that you don't matter, because you do. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop talking. I love you. Please share this video. Goodbye for now.